In this psyche video, I'm going to get a little bit serious, and I'm going to talk about presumption and assumption, and how it's affected my life personally. When I assume and presume, a whole world of trouble normally follows. Why is it? Because I don't have the facts. I assume something. I believe something. And I'll just go into a, a direct example right off the bat. When you're speaking to a friend, well, let me put it in the first person. When I'm speaking to a friend and they make some outrageous claim about someone else, some uh, derogatory claim, they say, oh, such and such is such a jerk because they did this. And in my head, I'm thinking, that doesn't sound like something such and such would do. And then I say to my friend, really? I don't know about that. And then my friend says to me, what, you call me a liar? You doubting me? And that's the trick card. And by trick, I mean trick. They're tricking you into buying an assumption and a presumption. And then later on, I would find out that my friend wasn't a jerk because they had not done what the other person said they did. The other person was just angry at that friend and they wanted me to be angry at them too and use me in an attempt to whatever, get it revenge or whatever mind games they were playing. That's assumption presumption. It also comes into appeals of authority. And if you study the trivium method, you'll know what that is. It's a logical fallacy where you'll have an entity like, for example, say the government and... You'll say, well, the government can't be wrong. They have our best interests at heart. But when in the back of your head, you look at, you take a tally of all the things that the government has done and not done, and then you know what the facts are and you don't have to assume and presume anything. And there is no appeal to authority because you have the facts. When you hear about this national debt or whatever you want to call it, and then you go and you subscribe to emails from the Securities and Exchange Commission, like I do, and then you see the millions and billions of dollars, well, millions and billions of invisible dollars <laughs> being electronically transferred in court opinionated decisions from this and that for that infraction or that violation, then you'll know. What is this national debt? You assume assumption and presumption has only gotten me into trouble. And actually, nowadays when I have friends make claims to me, and there's even just a little inkling of a doubt in my head, please provide the proof. And nine times out of ten, if they don't have the proof, they will get angry. <laughs> And they stop talking to me, which is fine, because it's a good vetting process for your inner circles to find out who's honorable and graceful and who isn't. And on that note, I'll bring this to a close. Uh, again, I am not a psychologist. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. If you like it, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions about grammar, feel free to email me, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.